From Easter to spring weddings, cocktail parties to formal events, I have all of your spring events covered in today's video. Hey, this is Netta, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, the whole goal of everything I do here on YouTube and everywhere else is to help you build a wardrobe and a style that you love so you look beautiful, feel confident, feel stylish every single day. Whatever your day brings that you're ready for it and you've got that wardrobe that supports you. If this is something that you feel like you need a little additional help with, definitely check out my Agile Style Program. It is linked in the description box below. It's really the most affordable way I know of to get one-on-one -on -one styling support from me as a personal stylist and then a community of women who are also working on their style and kind of all going through the same thing so it's the best place in my opinion to get style support definitely check it out but today I am really excited to be talking about spring events spring events like all the things that we hopefully will have on our calendar in the next few months so I know it feels a little early but it's not really because this is the time to be picking the things that you're going to be wearing to those events right and so I'm here to help with that and to get you psyched up about warmer days ahead literally brighter days ahead we're in florida so I, I i realize that sounds a little fake for me to be saying that but we have had some cold days um today's not one of them today's beautiful but we've had some cold days and it's here we're here like you know nearing the middle of february spring is next month spring is next month and i can't wait for the weddings and the baby showers and the bridal showers and the galas and maybe fundraisers and cocktail parties and birthday parties and tea parties and garden parties and barbecue all the things that that warm weather brings so i mean you could really kind of consider this your spring summer events guide but um, we're going to talk about how to dress for all of the fun things that we have coming up and for me the main attraction of spring and i'm going to get right into it oh actually first i want to talk about something that has been a game changer and a lifesaver for me when it comes to getting dressed for special events. And this is, it's called Busties. Now this is breast tape for those of us who have fuller busts. So I wear a 32C, so I'm kind of, you know, on the on the smaller side of large <laughs> bust wise, but I have clients who have tried this who are D, double D, I have a client who's a double G, like this is truly the most, I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it, truly the most supportive bust tape I have ever tried. It's also really comfortable to wear, really easy to use. Um, so in this kit, you get the tape itself, and then you get these silicone covers. I'm going to try to show you. So you get these, you get these silicone covers, get a couple of these, and they're reusable. And then of course, these also these silky covers, they're like flower kind of things. I don't know if you can see them. And then you get um, you get actually a sensitivity testing kit in case you do tend to be sensitive to, to some of the tape or whatever. And then you get the bust tape. And as you can see, this bust tape is thick. It's supportive. It is perfect for those of us who need a little bit more support and a little bit more coverage. Like if the flimsy bust tape like my daughters have used for homecoming and things like that, if that's not for you, it's not for me, it does not do anything for me, it doesn't hold anything up, it doesn't give me any modesty, it doesn't give me any any support doesn't give any control like nothing like it does not do anything this is amazing for that so it's called busties the site is getbusties.com and I highly recommend it like I said I mean you even get this little little bag to keep it all with like if you're traveling um, and you know that you're going like you're going on a cruise you're going somewhere um, you know going away to a wedding and you're going to be wearing a special occasion outfit and maybe it's backless or strapless or maybe it's a little low in the front or there's just so many different types of outfits now that are not regular bra friendly or even strapless bra friendly and let me tell you I choose these busties over my strapless bra um, time and time and time again because it's so much more comfortable and I can do all the things and have fun and dance and play and do whatever do whatever I'm gonna do and not have to worry about it so definitely recommend um, busties it is a problem solver for me in when it comes to some of the dresses and some of the styles you're gonna be seeing here anytime I'm wearing something strapless something formal something that's a little bit tricky that's my go-to and I love it it's gonna be linked below Okay, now let's get into what I think is the main attraction of spring, and that's Easter. If you celebrate Easter like I do, I love dressing up for Easter. We have a casual church, but I still love dressing up for Easter. Um, 
And I'm so excited because I got to preview some of um, a collaboration that Antonio Milani did with Jennifer Sumco, who is a, an influencer and a kind of a vintage stylist. Um, and these dresses are so pretty. They're so feminine and fanciful and frilly. They're not for everybody, but I loved them and I loved trying them on. They are just beautiful. And to me, some of these dresses just might as well just have Easter on the tag because they are just perfect Easter dresses. So the first one I want to talk about is this blue and white gingham dress. Of course, you know, I'm going to wear the blue and white gingham dress with red shoes. Definitely Wizard of Oz vibes, but I love this blue and white gingham dress. I think it is so, so, so pretty and so feminine and so springy. I used to have a, a, a lilac and white, lavender and white um, gingham dress, when I was in fourth grade, my mom made us all matching gingham dresses for Easter and we had the big white hats. Um, did anyone else do that back in the day? And I loved it. This makes me, it reminds me of that. Such a sweet memory. And I just think this is such a pretty Easter dress. Um, another one that I think from her same collection, Jennifer Sumco's collection with Antonio Milani is this pink butterflies dress. I mean, Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I love it. I love the black bow detail on the front and the black trim at the bottom. It kind of feel like it grounds the dress a little and keeps it from floating away because it's so light and ethereal. Like, I just love this dress. It's so fanciful, it's so feminine, it's so pretty. Um, and I actually paired it with black pumps, my Sarah Flint Perfect pumps, because I just felt like that was, you know, just a, like a, gave it a tiny little bit of edge um, and I just loved it. Somebody commented when I posted these um, on uh, Facebook that, or actually on Instagram, they said, well, I'm glad that puff sleeves are back and you will see all the puff sleeves here. Um, so if that's not your thing, these might not be for you, but I love them. Um, the one that's probably most true to my personal style is this next one. It's the this white floral two-piece dress. I love this. Um, so you can wear, obviously it's two pieces, so you can wear the blouse with jeans, you can wear the skirt with a with a different top, like a tee or something, make it a little bit more casual. I think this is just absolutely fabulous. So definitely um, a great Easter dress. It's got that floral print. I feel like it's a little, Span I don't know, there's a little Spanish reference to it. I just, I, I love it. I think it's so, so, so pretty. Um, and the final Easter dress option is this also, these are all the Jennifer Sumco dresses. This is a, a pale blue with a big white bow. Um, so it's just, it, it to me, this is just such an Easter, quintessential Easter dress. I am not classic or traditional in my personal style, except for when it comes to holidays. And in Christmas, I like red. In Easter, I like light and pretty colors. And this, you know, these bo dresses check all of those boxes and they are so, so, so pretty. So love these Jennifer Semco dresses for Easter. And again, like I would say, uh, if, if, you, if these are not your type of dress, I have a catalog that's linked in the description box below with my spring, it's my spring event catalog and it's huge. It's got a lot of spring events inspiration and spring event options for whatever your personal style is however you celebrate wherever you're going this season all of those things because I know you know like I said not everything I'm going to pick here is going to be exactly what you're going to be wearing but um, my my encouragement at Easter is to dress up to make it spring-like whatever that means to you and um, to just have fun getting dressed up for Easter because it's only once a year and it's a special day okay next I'm going to talk about ladies only events i was gonna say girly events but they're not necessarily girly not everybody likes the term girly i do but anyway ladies only events so i'm talking bridal showers I'm talking baby showers maybe ladies luncheons tea parties garden parties some of the things that I dream of going to in the spring and don't always get to go to in the spring. Like, I don't know if I've ever been to a garden party, but I fantasize about going to garden parties. And if I did, this is what I would wear to any kind of ladies event. Um, so I love this seashell dress from Jennifer Sumco. I think this is so, so pretty. It's, um, this would be great for a beach wedding. I think this is beautiful. It's light and flowy and breezy and airy. Very, very comfortable, very easy to wear, very forgiving, very flattering. I love this one. I think it's beautiful. Um, I also also like this um, blue two-piece dress also from Jennifer Semco. Love this for this type of event. I think it's so pretty and so feminine. Now this is actually, like I said, it's a two-piece outfit and it's got like, it's kind of gathered at the bottom of the, of the shirt and you'll see it, the shirt paired with something else later on. Um, but because I'm short-waisted and short in general, I tucked it in and belted it. So it looks like a one-piece dress, but it actually is two separate pieces. I think this is beautiful and would be perfect for, like again, it's sort of a similar vibe to Easter. Like you want to wear something pretty, you want to wear something feminine, in my opinion. Um, and you want to wear something kind of with a daytime feeling to it. And I feel like 
these check those boxes. Okay. Now, what if you're a wedding guest? What if you're a wedding guest? Um, I, I, I think that there's an art to dressing for a wedding. Obviously, you're going to look at the invitation and take your cues from the invitation. If it's formal, you're going to go formal. If it's cocktail, you're going to go cocktail. But if you're going to like, a, you know, cocktail style or um, just, a, you know, like church dress type wedding, then I really love this. I decided this year really quickly, um, an aside, to do this month to tr do the trial box from Rent the Runway. It's a, it's a $69 service and you get four items for a month because I had several events coming up this month. Now I've used Rent the Runway in the past many times and my clients have used it many times and I've always been thrilled. I've always been thrilled. Um, but this time I was just going to try this trial subscription box. It's the introductory price. It's like $69, like I said, and you get four items. Um, so I had lots of events this month and I paid $15 each or something. It's insane. This is one of the items I picked and I'm actually going to be wearing it to a cocktail party at the end of the month. But this would be a perfect, perfect wedding guest dress. To me, it checks all the boxes for a spring or summertime wedding. This is from Project, I think it's uh, 311 Social is the brand and um, it's just beautiful. It's got that kind of acid green lime kind of color that's uh, trending this year, but a floral print. It's asymmetric, but asymmetric in a way that works a little bit better for petites because I've told you high, low, like, you know, high in the front, low in the back is a little harder for petites. It ma can make us look a little shor shorter unless your legs are long. Mine are relatively long, but I'm, um, I'm loving this silhouette. I think this is so much fun and it's such a pop dress and such a kind of life of the party dress and I think this would be a great dress for a wedding or a spring summer cocktail party. Um, I also like again to go back to the Jennifer Sumco dresses this pink um, kind of bib style dress I think this is so funny so fun in hot pink and I'm pairing it with these green um, slingbacks because you know I'm if I'm gonna wear hot pink I'm gonna wear green or I'm gonna wear some other fun color usually and I just love this combination so this pink dress would be a really really fun wedding guest dress I also love this green wedding guest dress or green Jennifer Sumco dress um, again wearing it with a pink because you know, I'm, I'm kind of predictable that way I'm, I love wearing color with color and I love this dress this is a similar style to the blue and white gingham dress with the puff sleeves and I just think it's so much fun and I think this would be a great dress for a wedding guest. Again, if these are not your thing, if the dresses I picked are all too fanciful or too frilly or too feminine, definitely check the, um, the description box for my catalog because I have lots of other options. Okay, now let's talk about a cocktail party. If you're going to a cocktail party, cocktail parties need uh, some degree of like festivity, some degree of fun, some degree of glamour, but you also have a lot more flexibility with a cocktail party because there's not like a specific like, oh, I have to have a long dress or I have to have this. I have to, you know, you, you can express your personal style. And I do, you know, I've talked about creating a cluster for every area of your life. And one of that, one of those was a cocktail cluster. So if you have pieces in your wardrobe that you can put together to create a cocktail look, go for it. Like, I think that's the way to go most of the time but because I was doing the rent the runway box I had the um fun of picking a cocktail friendly look and I picked this sparkly jumpsuit from show me your mumu I love this jumpsuit it feels like sweats it's stretchy and really really comfortable and easy to wear but it's sparkly and glam and all the things so I was gonna wear this to a friend's birthday party and then I realized two of my friends are celebrating their birthdays it's actually tomorrow night and then I later found out that there's gonna be a line dancing lesson and then maybe some country music afterwards so totally out of my comfort zone so I'm like maybe that I don't know. I'm still trying to decide I'm going to wear that sparkly jumpsuit to the birthday party, but I'm going to find a place to wear it this this month because I love it. And like I said, it's really, really comfortable. Um, so you can do a jumpsuit. You can do a cocktail dress. You can do separates. You can do a party blouse and um, a neutral pair of pants. Um, there are just a lot of different ways to do cocktail depending on where you're going, who you're seeing, the level of formality that you think you know the other people are going to be wearing at the event and it's really cocktail is to me the most fun dress code because it really gives you an opportunity to dress up but at the same time um, flexibility to express your personal style and to work with your own wardrobe okay um, formal black tie now this is a little bit more specific so for me I've I've been seeing a lot like when I'm filtering on black tie or gale I'm seeing a lot of maxi dresses maxi dresses are not formal black tie they're not they're just long dresses like you can wear them to the beach like you want a dress that's going to feel like a formal because it's a, an event it's a celebration and how like I don't know about you but I don't go on too many red carpets these days like that's not my life so this is my red carpet moment right a formal event or a black
black tie event, they don't come up every day. And if we have the opportunity to dress for them, we should go for it. And so um, I was actually leaning towards this. I really wanted this Love Shack fancy gold tiered dress. It's incredible from Rent the Runway. I loved this dress. I really wanted to wear this to the event. Um, I was also considering this yellow jumpsuit. Um, I would have had to glam this up with accessories because I, I think on its own, it's more cocktail than black tie. But I ended up going with this sparkly, uh, it's a sequined jumpsuit from Dress the Population. I really was looking for a dress, but um, the like in the in the time frame I was looking for, the dresses that I loved were not available and I really wanted something kind of unique and different um, because you know, that's my personal style. So I kind of felt like this sequined jumpsuit really checked those boxes boxes for me. Again, it's from Dress the Population. It's a go-to formal wear brand for me. I'm going to get into them a little bit later in this video, but I loved this jumpsuit. I love kind of like the stripe, the color detail on it, and it's very sparkly. It's very, it's, it's black tie because it's head to toe sequins, and uh, it's kind of an unconventional black tie look, and it totally works for me. So I'm very, very excited about it. I might be pairing it with the gold sandals that I'm showing it with, or I might do a black pump. I haven't decided yet. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, and I'll tell you later what I actually did because the, the event is actually in just a couple of days. Okay, so um, now, if you're going to go to an artistic event or a theatrical event, uh, maybe an art gallery opening or a theater, you know, a night at the theater, a night at the symphony, a concert, um, you're going for a wine walk or an art walk. We have art walks here and I, you know, any kind of artistic or theatrical event. I feel like those call for a really pretty artistic or theatrical blouse or dress, like something a little bit more unusual, something a little more... Um, artsy. I don't know how else to put it artsy. So this top, I, again, this is from my Rent the Runway haul. Oh my goodness. This is one of my favorite brands, Amour, A-M-U-R. Love, love, love this top. It reminds me of my favorite uh, Trina Turk top, but like a couple steps up in dressiness and in fabric and detail. Just love it. Love the color palette. Love the pattern. Love the detail. Love everything about it. I'm wearing it with my cigarette pants from One State, just a simple pair of black pants. And I'm still trying to decide whether I'm going to go with the red shoes that you're seeing here or whether I'm going to do a black pump with it. But I, I love it. I love it. I just can't. I just love it. I think it's so, I might, I might have to buy this one. Like, I feel like this belongs in my wardrobe. This is me in a top. And this is definitely something I would wear to an art opening or, um, you know, like I said, a gallery. It, it also would be great for a girl's night out. It would be great for a cocktail party. It's really quite a versatile piece. Memorable, but versatile. Okay. Casual poolside party. Maybe you're going to a lovely, you know, cocktails by the pool or uh, an upscale barbecue or a little bit more of a casual garden party and you don't want to wear a frilly dress, but you would like to wear a frilly top. So I'm taking that Jennifer Sumco blue blouse um, that was with the, in that two-piece dress option and I'm wearing it with this, um, th these beautiful white jeans from they're kind of like a raw edge jean from Antonio Milani I have been looking for a white wide leg jean for a minute like I want to say a year and a half it's really hard as a petite because many of them are very long this is a 27 inch inseam mine is like a 28 29 inch inseam this was perfect perfect it runs true to size I'll put my size in the description box below so you'll know but it runs true to size it comes in white black and beige and I love 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 these jeans they've got a little stretch to them they're, they're really comfortable I feel like this is going to be a go-to for me this summer and again I'm pairing it with that Jennifer Sumco top and I love this combination I think it'd be great for like poolside cocktails something you know a wine walk something where you're going to be walking around but you still want to look really really cute so I, 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 I really like this combination Okay, mother of the bride, mother of the groom. This is a whole different category and I'm not gonna get into you know real detail here except to say my main piece of advice is to skip the mother of the bride, mother of the groom filters on any of the, the department store websites. You do not need to look at Mother of the Bride, Mother of the Groom dresses just because you're looking for a, a, a special event dress for your child's wedding because you're gonna get a dusty rose, frumpy, like uh, flowy thing that's supposed to conceal all of your flaws and it's not going to be pretty. It's not gonna be cute. It's gonna be matronly and you deserve better. This is a special event and it's one of the most special events in your life and you're hosting something that's so, you know, it's 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 a big day. It's a big day. It's this, almost as big a day for the mom as it is for the bride because it's such a, you know, it's, you want to look and feel your best that day. Um, and my daughters are a little ways off from this at 15 and 16, but I'm already picturing what I'm going to wear 
20 years from now, who knows when that's gonna be. Anyway, um, but it's a big day. So you want to instead to filter by uh, the formality of the occasion and not by mother of the bride, mother of the groom. With the possible exception of the anthropology website, um, they do have some cute mother of the bride options there, but otherwise, no. So you want to, exam if, for example, if it's a black tie wedding, you wanna, you wanna look at black tie dresses. If it's a cocktail wedding, you wanna look at cocktail dresses. If it's a beach wedding, you wanna look at that type of dress. Um, you do not want to go by mother of the bride or mother of the groom. You will get frumpy dresses. So um, I, the brands that I really like for Mother of the Bride, Mother of the Groom dresses are Mac Dougal. I'm going to read these off because I don't want to miss any of them. Tadashi Shoji, <laughs> um, Kiara Boney, beautiful, beautiful dresses. Um, Sashin and Babi, which they have a lot at Anthropology. Um, Dress the Population, I mentioned them. They do that sequin jumpsuit that I was wearing, but they have it's, it's one of my go-tos for special event dresses. They have a great wide range of special event dresses. Um, uh, far, fame and partners made to order special event dresses love their stuff um, Baltic Born I really like Baltic Born I've mentioned them on this channel before Maggie London is a good go-to especially cocktail type of dresses Adriana Papel we found a beautiful dress for a mother of the bride in my Ageless Style program at Adriana Papel um, it was stunning 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 on her and not super pricey um, so those are my go-to brands and go-to sources for Mother of the Bride, Mother of the Groom dresses. I always go to Anthropology. They always have amazing options at Anthropology for Mother of the Bride, Mother of the Groom. And I'm going to show you a couple here that I really, really like. Um, okay, the first one is now, some of these are Anthropology's own brands and some of them are um, other brands that just happen to be sold at Anthropology. So the first one is this Ashland Crepe dress. If you're comfortable with your arms, this is a beautiful, classic, simple dress. It comes in a couple of neutral colors as well as this... A kind of celadon green color and a blue color um, and it says three other colors oh it comes in a lot of colors actually it's just a beautiful simple flattering elegant dress where you're going to feel you know totally appropriate for the event perfect for spring or summer wedding the colors are just beautiful and i definitely would recommend something like this um and if you don't love your arms maybe a little pretty little decorative jacket to go over the top would be beautiful um i love this floral dress this is a sashin and babi floral dress i think this is so so pretty and really perfect for like a springtime wedding it's maybe an outdoor wedding like something a little bit more casual this is a really really pretty dress for that now if you're going a little bit more formal this priced off the shoulder dress it's the perfect um it's kind of like off one shoulder but it's a perfect combination you're going to want busties for this dress it's a perfect combination of kind of um you know being a little bit a little bit sassy with the shoulder showing but it's also covering your arms it's a very flattering silhouette flattering on a lot of different body types it comes in some beautiful colors and i think that's beautiful again these are anthropology these are all linked in that catalog i'm talking about now, this is Anthropology's own brand, Beholden, um, B-H-L-D-N. Um, it's the Juniper dress. This It's hard to tell in this picture, but it's got metallic threads going through it. It's really, really pretty, a pretty color palette. Um, this is especially beautiful for light or warm colored ladies. And um, I just think it's a really pretty and really special dress. Now, there are dresses that are a lot more formal than this, and there are dresses that are a lot more casual than this. And again, you're going to have to tailor your dress to your son or daughter's preferences, like some Sometimes you might have a specific color in mind. One of the women in my style program, her daughter's getting married in June and she needs to find a blush dress. So we've been looking for blush dresses for her. So there are a lot of parameters when you're looking for a mother of the bride or mother of the groom dress. So obviously I didn't check all the boxes here, but those are just a few suggestions and a few sources, more importantly, where you can start your hunt for that extra special dress for the extra special event. So I hope that I have pumped you up and gotten you excited about doing something fun and um, putting some fun things on your calendar and, and hopefully looking ahead to warmer, brighter days in spring and summer. Um, let me know what events you're going to this spring and summer, what you're shopping for for them. Um, definitely don't forget to check out my uh, my catalog in the description box because it's got so much other so many other options for you. And um, like this video if you like it and you want more special event inspiration, um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already like why would you subscribe it's free we have the best time here we'd love to have you back thanks so much and i will see you in the next video bye